Hey, what is going on guys? It is Hawksense here, back with another Rules of Survival video. Uh, now, today what we're going to be looking at is a game that I played not too long ago, and uh, this game was actually on the uh, the Chinese version of Rules of Survival. Now, in this version, they get updates a little bit earlier than like the normal Rules of Survival. Uh, so, in this, uh, the ghillie suit, uh, shooting out of cars, five-man squad, uh, leaning, and a lot of other new features are actually already in this game. Uh, so, I decided to play a few games and see if I could get some good games using the new features. And uh, actually, right there, you just saw a kill that I got with the Barrett uh, with the new lean feature uh, but yeah when I was recording this video the audio actually got kind of jacked up so that's why I'm doing commentary uh, after the video was already recorded uh, so yeah in this game I actually started off kind of recording kind of late uh, my first four kills two of them were actually bots uh, so they weren't real people and then the other two were real people but I didn't start recording until afterwards uh, and then right there you saw me just kill <laughs> two people with a tuck tuck one of them might have been might have been a bot uh, but I think the other one was a legit person uh, but then after that, we go for this airdrop, and we get an M249 and a Barrett currently. Uh, I actually have an 8X on the uh, M249, which I switch up later. But my main objective of this video was to rush airdrops as much as I could to see if I could get the new ghillie suit, because I was pretty sure that the ghillie suit uh, is in airdrop. So, so as I get kills, it's mostly people that were also going for the airdrop. So right here, I get the M14 EBR, uh, along with the Barrett, which is definitely my favorite setup. Uh, the Barrett with the M14 is such a good combination. Uh, I really don't think you need a full auto gun. Some people say you do, but I think if you just put the M14 on semi-auto uh, and then have the Barrett as your like long-range sniper, it's super effective. All right, and then right here, I just go up the hill, and there's a guy holding a crowbar. Uh, so I hop out of the vehicle and just take him out, no problem. I'm pretty sure he was going to go for the crate, and then he saw me and kind of crapped his pants because he saw the weapons I had. Uh, but then I see another guy also going for the airdrop, and I decide to whip out the Barrett because why not? Uh, and we hit him with that one tap. And then right here, I'm looking at my extended uh, quick draw mag for ARs, and for whatever reason, I can't put it on my M14. I don't know if that's a glitch or what, uh, or if they're making it so like certain attachments go on certain guns. I don't know exactly what they were doing there, uh, but for some reason, I couldn't add the uh, extended quick draw on the M14. All right, so right here, I actually hit a guy as I was going down the hill, and uh, I, when I get out of the car to fight him, he actually gets a shot off of me, but I'm able to take him out. But the reason I turned so slowly is because I have really low sensitivity. And also, normally when I put my thumb on the screen and like try to turn, uh, my thumb would go right where like the drive button was for the tuck tuck. So if I put my thumb there, it would actually like get in the tuck tuck, which I didn't want to do. So I had to put my thumb in a completely different place and drag around. So it took like a good like three or four swipes to like get all the way rotated. And then as I'm pushing this airdrop, I see footsteps next to me, and luckily I was crouched so he didn't see me, and I'm able to take him out with a good two or three shots. Alright, then I head to the airdrop, and long and behold, we have the ghillie suit. Now, if we look at the ghillie suit, some things that I wanted to point out is that the backpack is actually over it, along with your guns and your uh, your pan. So if you want to be super, super, super sneaky, uh, you could definitely consider dropping like all your stuff, but one of your like favorite guns. Uh, and then also you're dropping your backpack so that like the only thing that shows is the gun you have in your hand and the ghillie suit. All right, so right here I get shot and I can't actually see the guy for a few seconds. So I move up the hill and then I notice that he's just laying in the grass and I'm able to spray him down with a couple uh, body shots and a headshot. All right, right here, I'm just trying to drop a ton of stuff to see if I can also drop my backpack. And after dropping like basically everything uh, and just keeping the essentials, I still don't have enough uh, like carrying capacity without a backpack. So I have to actually keep the backpack. So I just decided to pick up all my loot and uh, just chill at this spot for a second to see if we can. So right here, I just chill here for a second to see if I can put the ghillie to good use. And as I look up at the compound, I actually see a guy. Now, right here, I thought he was behind the fence. I could have sworn he was. But then I see him move and I realize he wasn't behind the fence. And I actually hit him in the, uh, I think in the body. So I do 79 damage, which isn't a one shot kill. Uh, and then he prones behind some grass and I just try to spray him down with my M14. And none of the shots connect. So I just decide to go prone again and uh, hope he just doesn't see me. Which is basically most of what you're going to be doing with the ghillie is just hoping people can't see you. Uh, and most of the time they won't be able to unless you have stuff uh, sticking out or you just took shots. Alright, then right here I actually do see a move and I'm able to hit him right in the uh, in the chest, do 79 damage and uh, take, it, take him out of the game. And as I'm heading to the circle, uh, I decide to stop the recording and restart it. And right when I do that, someone starts shooting me and they get me down to like almost half health. And luckily he wasn't able to finish me and I'm able to get to cover and actually take this fight um, in an equal 1v1. So as I see him with the tree, I decide to try out the leaning a little bit more and I actually messed up. Uh, when you lean, you definitely want to have your scope, like your little, your dot right where the person will be or where you think he is when you lean like that. Because the other time I didn't do that and I couldn't find him at all within eight times. So you definitely want to make sure when you lean, you have uh, your scope about where he is already. If you know what I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, uh, but it just takes some practice with the 8x and leaning. 
All right, so right here, I lean over once again, and I see him laying down, and it only takes one shot uh, to take him out of the game. So I decide not to loot him just because the zone is so far away, and I don't have that many meds. So I just head straight to the zone. All right, right here, so there's only two opponents left, and I have no idea where they are. So I'm just staying crouched and trying to stay where cover is. And then I see this guy, and I hit him a good, I think, like four times. So I know he's super low, so I decide to rush him. And uh, when I start getting closer, I have no idea where he went, so I decide to crouch so he doesn't see my footsteps. And as I look around, I see him laying down on the grass, and I just hit him twice and uh, finish him off. And then right here, I see the last guy right by a tree, so I decide to get some cover for myself also and whip out the Barret. And once again, I hit this guy in the body for 79 damage, just like the uh, the guy a couple of kills ago. So I just try to hold him with my M14, uh, try to keep him committed to the tree, so if he peeks at all, I'll be able to take him out of the game. Uh, and also, when you lean, sometimes the sensitivity goes crazy. I just wanted to point that out. Hopefully, it's fixed pretty soon, uh, but it makes the leaning kind of kind of ineffective sometimes. But then once again, I just pull my Barret out because I know he's healed, so I want to try to take him out with one shot. So I just keep uh, my crosshair right on the tree, and then a couple times I switch up so he doesn't, you know, headshot me or anything. All right, right here he does peek, and I'm kind of out of bad position, so I switch, and I'm able to drill him right in the arm for the one-shot kill. And once again, if you haven't seen my Barret guide, the Barret is a one-shot kill in the arms or legs, and also head no matter what helmet they have. So if you have the Barret, definitely try to aim for people's arms, legs, or head, because it's always going to be a one-shot. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The ghillie suit is definitely super cool. I didn't use it as much as I'd like in this video, uh, but I got 16 kills in this, but I'm probably only going to title the video 12 kills because I didn't show the, uh, the first 4 kills. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more uh, videos in the future. I'll try to get more ghillie, uh, ghillie suit gameplay. Hopefully some better ones, maybe ones where I can get like 20 kills or something like that. Something crazy. Uh, that'd be super cool. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.